Now, in practice, on the surface of the virus, there are very tightly packed hemagglutinin molecules. There are two of them superposed on this electron micrograph. And so it is also plausible that three of these hemagglutinins clustered in, uh, one, in one region might well uh, be the minimum needed to catalyze this fusion process. Also, because of the tight packing, it's very unlikely that in the surface of the virus, the proteins can move around very much. And so again, the process is presumably um, carried out by a local set of interactions at an attachment point between the viral membrane and the cell surface. So these sorts of measurements obviously are just the beginning at trying to understand the details of this sort of process. But here from now just about 50 years ago is an electron micrograph uh, of influenza virus in what would now be called an endosome to indicate to you, to give you a bit of perspective and to suggest to you, to you um, that from this sort of information at a stage when one didn't even know what the molecules on the surface of the virus might be, we're now at a stage where at the level of dissecting the kinetics of the event and hence trying to understand sensitive points for neutralization by antibodies, for example, uh, we can, we can um, actually uh, get at the molecular details of the process that would lead to the, uh, to, to the release of the nucleoproteins from inside the particle. You can actually see some of them in cross-section here probably uh, into the cytoplasm through fusion of the lipid uh, bilayer of the virus with the lipid bilayer of the endosome. 